Started in Class C, 106 pounds, Wilbur Claytonius Jackson Bates punched his ticket to the state semifinals. He only has two losses on the season. is undefeated in his weight class. He makes quick work of his opponents pinning in round one and in the quarters. I'm really fired up this year. You know, I won state last year. I want to do it again. I really want it. Malcolm's 145 pounder Mason Glaus had an overtime win in round one. He made the semis as well. His teammate 152 pounder Jordan Redler earned his 100th career win in round one. He's also in the semis. Crete's Vince Thatcher is in the semis. He's undefeated and the returning champ at his weight. Should be a Tough bracket, but I think I can make it through and see Colton Adams in the finals. Hopefully I'll get more pins the further I go in the tournament so I could rack up some more points for our team. And it's pretty good to save some energy right now. Also among the elite, Beatrice's undefeated state champ Chance Helmick is looking for another title. I've been waiting 363 long days for this moment and never stopped working and lost track of my dreams. I knew I wanted to repeat. I couldn't be satisfied with just one. When I knew the opportunity to get two was out there. Helmet could see Seward's Keith Wolverton in the finals. Wolverton is in the 170 pound semifinal as well. Milford's Cody Burkhardt also made it to the next round, and Syracuse big man Matt Clark is still undefeated at heavyweight, earning pins in both of his matches. There's a special name for the next round of wrestling here at State. The semifinals are called the Blood Round. That's because some of the toughest matches you'll see all tournament are then. The semifinals start tomorrow at 5 p.m. Coming up at 10, find out which wrestlers from classes A and D make it that far. Reporting from the CenturyLink Center, Peter Terpstra, Channel 8 Eyewitness News Sports.